Hello, dear students of batch 19. Welcome back to my last online class on entrepreneurship development. Dear students, have a look. What are you seeing in the slide? Pizza Hut, Burger King, McDonald's, Domino's Pizza, the United Parcel, Service Store, and Subway. You're seeing some franchising business which have been offering fast food items and parcel service across the world. Uh, okay, franchising. Franchising is an agreement between a franchisor and one or more franchises. After agreement, the franchisor gives the franchisee the right to distribute and sell the franchisor's goods and services and use its business model for a specific period within a specific geographical area. After conducting agreement, the franchisor also grants the franchisee the right to use a developed concept including trademarks and brand names, production methods, service and marketing methods, and the entire business operation for a fee. Some examples of today's most popular franchises are McDonald's, Savoy, Burger King, Domino's Pizza, Pizza Hut, and the United Personal Service Store. The students, for kind information, I'd like to inform you that there are over 120 different types of franchise businesses available in today's business world, including automotive, cleaning and maintenance, health and fitness, financial services, pet related franchises, etc. Dear students, for your understanding, I'd like to give you some information about Dominus Pizza Incorporation. Dominus Pizza Incorporation is a public limited food delivery franchising restaurant established in 1960s on December 9 in Michigan, the United States of America, which even uh, the Dominus Pizza Incorporation was Found by James Monaghan, Tom Monaghan, Dominic Diverti, and its headquarters is situated in Arbor, Ann Arbor, Michigan, the United States of America. And Dominus Pizza have been serving across the world with the help of 17,000 locations from where uh, they are serving customers at present david a brandon is the chairman of the municipal corporation and richard edison uh, is performing the role of chief executive officer for the municipal corporation and the municipal corporation uh, has been offering chicken wings dessert pasta pizza to the customers across the world. Uh, dear students, at present, I'd like to talk about Dominus Pizza Bangladesh Limited. Uh, you know that in the year 2019, on February, the first store of Dominus Pizza was opened in our country. And the franchises for Dominus Pizza are co-owned by Jubilant Food Works, an Indian food delivery company, and Golden Harvest Limited. Uh, both Jubilant Food Works and Golden Harvest Limited formed Dominus Pizza Bangladesh Limited. And in this entity, Jubilant Food Works is the majority shareholder and owns 51% of the company while the rest of the share is owned by Golden Harvest Limited. Okay, dear students, 
I have discussed about Dominus Pizza in Bangladesh. And from the above discussion, I think it will be very easier to you to understand the concept franchising, franchisees and franchise uh, If uh, we think about Dominus Pizza Bangladesh Limited, then we can say that agreement between Dominus Pizza Corporation and Jubilant Foodworks and Golden Harvest will be regarded, will be called a franchising. Whereas Jubilant Foodworks and Golden Harvest Limited are the franchises of Dominus Pizza. And Dominus, Dominus Pizza Incorporation is the franchise of. Uh, once again, in order to make your concept clear, uh, franchise, a fran a franchise is a privilege or right officially granted to sell specific products or services under explicit guidelines at a certain location for a declared period of time. Franchising a person or entity to whom the right to conduct a business is granted by the franchisor or licensor. And franchisor, the company owning or controlling the rights to grant franchises to potential franchisees. Uh, and I think that it is very clear to you, franchising, uh, the agreement between franchisor and franchisee. Franchising, uh, a person or entity to whom the franchisor uh, offers or to whom the franchisor uh, gives the right to conduct the business. And franchisor is the company uh, which is owning or controlling the rights to grant or to give franchises to potential franchisees franchises to potential franchises. Uh, okay, dear students, if an agreement happened between franchisor and franchisee, then the franchisors will provide the following services to the franchisees. A franchisee will be able to use a recognized brand name given by franchisors in order to operate its business. Moreover, the franchisors help franchises in order to select appropriate location and site development. Furthermore, franchisors also provide Required training to the franchisee and his management team in order to operate his business effectively and efficiently to ensure quality of the franchisor across the world. Franchisors continuously conduct will conduct research and development of new production services. Franchisors will provide any support or assistance that will be required by the franchisee from headquarters and franchisors uh, will perform the marketing and advertising activities in order to promote the products across the world on behalf of the franchisees. The students, if anyone who is highly interested to buy a franchise, then he or she needs to know what sort of costs it involved in buying a franchise, like capital investment. Firstly, a franchisor needs to invest his capital in order to development of site, buy the necessary equipment, then the franchisee needs to pay franchise fee to the franchisor in order to use his brand, use his concept and business model. Then franchisee needs to pay ongoing fee, which is known as royalty fee, advertising fee, franchise renewal fee, 
franchise resale fee, professional services, insurance, legal and accounting fee. Uh, again, most important thing is that if you want to buy a franchise, then it is better uh, if you take help from franchise attorney who will review franchise document disclosure. Moreover, in order to buy a franchise, you have to pay bid out costs, inventory, supplies, working capital, travel, living expenses while training. When the franchisor will provide training to the franchisee and his team, the expenses need to be bared by the franchisees. Idea. Very frequently, we use the word idea. Sometimes you say that I have a great idea. I'm thinking about a business idea. What is idea? Idea is a thought or a collection of thoughts that generate in human mind. Ideas often form during brainstorming sessions or through discussion, sometimes consciously and sometimes subconsciously ideas come in our mind. In philosophy, ideas are usually construed as mental representational images of some object. Now, let's talk about business idea. If you can generate a suitable business idea, then we'll be able to generate a huge amount of profit. Just think about the world's largest rent -a company. I'm talking about Uber, which doesn't have a single car, but it is the world's largest rent -a company, which is running its which has been running its operation across 420 cities all over the world, and the uh, the Uber has been generating a huge amount of profit, and they has been creating employment opportunities for thousands of people, millions of people all over the world. Just a business idea. Uh, okay, a business idea is a concept to introduce goods and services for the customers to make profit. A promising business idea must have the following characteristics. A business idea must be relevant, innovative and creative, unique, clear focus, and from this business idea, an organization will be able to generate profit in the long run. Furthermore, a successful business idea must meet the following three conditions. Number one, business idea must offer benefit to the customers by solving a problem or fulfilling a need. It must have a market that is willing to accept it. I mean, a promising business idea must offer a product or service that will be accepted by a large number of customers. Number three, it must have a mechanism for making revenue. A successful business idea must show how much money can be earned from it and how the money will be earned. Examples of a few new business ideas. The students, due to the pandemic COVID-19, most of the people have to stay in their residence, in their home. Do you think that you can't or people can't do anything, they can't uh, generate income by staying home? Obviously, they can. Even if you are highly interested to start a business but you don't have sufficient money, you don't have any capital, and you are worried about financial support. If you are such 
a condition then drop shipping will be the best business idea for you do you know what is drop shipping drop shipping is an economic business model in which you don't have to manage any physical products so don't have to manage any goods and services all you have to do is set up an online store you can connect you can contact you can maintain a linkage with suppliers and you need to upload the images of products and services with their configuration i mean name of the product quality quantity size price of the product everything will be mentioned in your online store and in your online store you will arrange a variety of products and services then uh, just think about look at the picture a customer a customer places order uh, for a specific product and pays you retail price dollar 200 and you are the owner of online store you are the drop shopper what will be your tax you will just forward the order that you have accepted from the customer you will forward your order to the supplier and you will pay wholesale price dollar 150 and then your supplier will supply the products to the customer's address and uh, you receives dollar 200 from your customers and you uh, paid dollar uh, 150 to the supplier dollar 50 is your profit can you imagine without money without capital even if you can start a business you can generate profit another new business idea is virtual assistant even staying at home you can work on behalf of a business organization if you have organizational skills if you are sound enough in communication skills then you can take the advantage of being virtual assistant you can engage yourself in with different organizations and you can work like answering emails on behalf of the organization scheduling meetings and performing other administrative duties and obviously the organization will pay you for your time and for your effort you can uh, find such sort of opportunities from people per hour virtual assistant jobs and other many sites another new business idea that you can start at staying home in this situation even after overcoming the situation yes i'm talking about online tutoring the students if you are an expert in english mathematics physics chemistry or any other subject you can you can start the business of online tutoring and one thing i'd like to tell you that always teach subjects that relate to your area of expertise because you'll be able to share your skills and constructive knowledge to enhance the learning experience and you can uh, deliver lectures and interact with your students by skype even uh, just like me i am delivering my lecture by using zoom you can do that and it is one of the easiest online business you can start uh, some other new business ideas uh, like home based catering, website flipping, personal shopper, greetings card, content writing, WordPress support, career coaching, email marketing, meals to go, video production. The students, modern sources of new business ideas hobbies and interests sometimes it is seen that 
some person uh, they just do a specific task or job only for their hobbies or interest. It may be uh, ornamental fish farming, gardening, painting, but if he or she wants to start a business of painting, ornamental fishing, gardening, easily he, can, he or she can do that. Personal skills and experiences, franchises, demographic changes, mass media, even you can get some business idea from a newspaper, from magazines, journal, television, radio, even in our country. There are some programs which are telecast in different TV channels like Rishi Dibanishi, Ridoy Mati Manush, and you can get so many new business ideas that you can implement in order to start your business and in order to be a self-dependent self person. Uh, and you can get uh, new business ideas from jet fairs, exhibitions, surveys, complaints, suggestions from customers, brainstorming, internet, uh, family business, and sometimes unexpected occurrences. Just think about the pandemic COVID-19. Just before five or six months, the online business in our country was not in a good position. But due to the pandemic COVID-19, people have been staying at their re residence and they are, they have been uh, taking all sorts of services uh, from online businesses. And that's why uh, in case of uh, daily necessaries, commodities, in case of telemedicine, I mean, any sort of service at present, the people have been taking from online business organization. And that's why online business organization uh, have been uh, flourished to a great extent nowadays. And that's why sometimes unexpected situations gives you some new business ideas. Uh, the student at present, I'll talk about idea generation techniques. Okay. Uh, first of all, scamper. S stands for substitute, C, combine, A, adapt, and modify, P, put to another use, E, eliminate, and R for reverse. Scamper is a technique, idea generation technique, by which an organization or an individual wants to find out the way to improve the uh, existing quality or design or color of existing products or services and substitute. Uh, in order to generate idea, you need to think what may be the substitute of this product, of this idea, of this thing, of this color, of this concept. Combine. In order to get new idea, you can combine two or more ideas, you can combine two or more materials, you can combine two or more techniques, then you can find a new product, then adapt. Sometimes you need to adapt, you need to accept some new technique, new production process, new technology from other successful business persons or business organization. Modify, magnify, or minify. You can generate idea by changing the color, sound, motion, form, size. Sometimes you can make a product larger, stronger, thicker, higher, longer, smaller, lighter, slower, less frequent, or reduce. By doing that, uh, you can get new ideas, new product, new service, put to another use. In order to get new idea, sometimes you should think about what are other uses of this product. With this product, what other things can be done? If you can ensure multi uses of a product, then you will get new idea from it. Eliminate. 
sometimes you can eliminate, you can omit, you can cut out some features of the existing product and just make it simple. And it, it will be a new idea, it will be a new product, it will be a new service. Last 20 words, uh, you can change the order, sequence, you can change pattern, layout, plan, regroup or redistribute, then you can get a new idea. Another idea generation technique is focus group. In focus group, there are students, you can see that a person who will lead a group of people and he will not merely asking question, rather he will stimulate the participant so that they uh, can participate in the in-depth discussion and find out the best suitable idea. Brainstorming. Brainstorming is a process of generating new ideas in a platform where participants can share their ideas, their opinions, their views without any sort of criticism. And after discussing, the best idea will be accepted. Others, idea generation techniques, reverse brainstorming. Uh, reverse brainstorming is similar to brainstorming, except criticism is allowed in reverse brainstorming. The main objective of reverse brainstorming is that to find out the limitations, to find out the drawbacks of an idea. Usually the question that is asked to the participant is uh, like, in how many ways the idea will fail. And after finding out the limitation, drawbacks or loopholes, uh, the organization will be able to find out a best appropriate suitable idea for its business. Mind mapping. Mind mapping is another technique of idea generation in which an individual will write down pieces of information and he will connect the pieces of information with the help of line or curves and he will expand the information which is relevant to the main concept and finally in a graphical presentation he will develop the concept or idea like that role playing uh, uh, in role playing uh, the participant play different role which are totally different from his own personality as it is funny uh, at the time of doing fun sometimes some fantastic ideas may come in the participant and uh, other uh, idea generation technique can be attribute listing blue sky thinking in blue sky thinking there is no limit of thinking uh, uh, an individual can uh, think about any sort of business collective notebook uh, method is another technique of idea generation. The five doubles and the age five doubles indicates what, which, when, where, how, daydreaming, reverse thinking, accidental genius, big dream approach, brain writing, and socializing are some other idea generation techniques that help an individual to uh, generate creative and innovative ideas and implement in his or her real life, actually. The students, innovation. Innovation means introducing something new. In other sense, innovation is a creation, development, and implementation of a new product, process, or service with the, with the aim of improving efficiency, effectiveness, or competitive advantage. And there are four types of innovation. Number one, invention. Number two, extension. Number three, synthesize. And number four, duplication. Invention. Invention means introducing totally new product, 
new service or process. For example, airplane by Wright Brothers. Telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Second one, extension. Extension indicates new use or different application of an already existing product, service, or process. For example, Facebook of Ray Jar Zuckerberg. Duplication. Duplication means creating replication of an existing concept. For example, departmental stores by Walmart, Pizza Parlor by Pizza Hut, synthesize. The last last type of innovation is synthesize. Synthesize means combination of existing concepts and factors into a new formulation or use. For example, FedEx by Fred Smith. Let's move to creativity. Sometimes we say that he is a very creative person. His creativity is obviously outstanding. What is creativity? Creativity is the act of turning new and imaginative ideas into reality. Once again, creativity is the act of turning new and imaginative ideas into reality. Creativity involves two processes. Number one, thinking, then producing. The created items may be intangible, such as an idea, a scientific theory, a musical composition, or a physical object. It may be an invention, a literary work, or a painting. The creative process. The creative process involves four steps. Number one, background or knowledge accumulation in order to find out a creative idea. Firstly, an individual needs to collect in-depth information about an object, about a subject, about a thing, about which he is thinking. In order to collect information, he or she can study more and more. He can, uh, he can collect information by reading books, magazines, articles, journals. He can participate or he can attend in different meetings, seminars, workshops. And secondly, the incubation process. In incubation process, uh, an individual will think rhetorically, will think again and again, about the problems and solution of an idea. And number three, at the third phase, an individual will be able to find out his accepted idea. And he will be highly excited in this phase. And finally, evaluation and implementation. After idea experience, in the last stage, an individual needs to implement his ideas. Uh, even uh, if he can find out a new business idea, he can implement, he can start his business. The students at present, we are moving to intellectual property. Intellectual property refers to the creation of creative minds. Intellectual property means the creation of creative and innovative people, such as inventions, literary work, artistic works, designs, and symbols, names and images used in commerce. Intellectual property is protected by law, for example, patents, copyright, trademarks, etc. Types of intellectual property. There are several types of intellectual property, and I think uh, you are familiar with the terms. Uh, for example, copyright. Copyright is a legal right of creators over their creations, over their works. For example, copyright of books, music, 
copyright of paintings, sculpture, films, etc. Patents. A patent is an exclusive right granted for an invention. Generally speaking, a patent provides the patent owner with the right to decide how or whether the invention can be used by others or not. Trademarks, another intellectual property. A trademark is a sign, is a symbol uh, which can differentiate the goods and services of an enterprise from that of others. Industrial designs, an industrial design constitutes the ornamental or aesthetic aspect of an article. Geographical indications, which is familiar uh, as DR. Geographical indications and appellations of origin are signs used on goods that have a specific geographical origin and possesses qualities or reputation or characteristics that are essentially attributable to the place of origin. Just think about it. The Muslim Shari of our country and the Hilsha fish uh, have already got geographical indication all over the world. Trade secrets. A trade secret is a formula, practice, process, design, instrument, pattern, or compilation of information which is not generally known or reasonably ascertainable by which a business can obtain by which a business can obtain competitive advantages over competitors. I mean, trade secrets are the secret formula, secret process, secret method, design, or instrument of business organization by which it can gain competitive advantages over competitors or customers. And for your kind information, I would like to tell about competitive advantages. Competitive advantages means those advantages that a company enjoys over its competitors. I mean that a company has, but the, its competitors don't have. These are known as competitive advantages. Trade dress. Trade dress is a legal term of art that generally refers to characteristics of the visual appearance of a product or its packaging, or even the design of a building that signify the source of the product to customers. Dear students, that's all from me. You get prepared for board examination, and you can have a look on previous year any questions. And during taking preparation for the examination, if you face any kind of problems, in entrepreneurship development course, I am suggesting you without any sort of hesitation, without any sort of confusion, not me, contact with me and, and I will try my level best to give the best solution of your question. Thank you very much. Stay home, stay safe, follow the instructions of Walgate organization and finally get prepared for board examination. Allah